What's going on guys? My name is Caesar, and we are back with the second part of our Osiris New Dawn update looking at Dawning of Azil? Azil? So we're going to continue where we left off and I think in this episode we are going to go ahead and build some of these new items that they brought to the game. And as always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, it does help a lot. So we're just going to be taking a look over items. We're going to be trying to find some hide to craft up these new inventory items that you can craft. We're going to be taking a look at those. And we're also going to be taking a look at this uh, skill tree a little bit more. Skill web, I think is what they call it. So once my game gets loaded in here. All right. Let us go over here, grab this guy, and let's see what we're going to start with. Um, what should we start with here? Okay, froze up on him. There we go. Uh, needs ability. Defensive walls needs ability. I'm interested in this excrement collector. I bet it has to do with the biodome. And as you can see, I don't have a biodome. There was uh, problems previously with connecting um, these these additional structures to this via the hallways. I tried getting this connected here. I tried getting a biodome connected here. But let's see if we can't go ahead and build the biodome by itself. Actually, we're just going to start with something new. Let's just start off with something completely completely new. What about solar panels? What do we need? A large solar panel serves as an energy source for other nearby structures as well as a replenishment zone for vehicles and droids. Steel, gold, wire, carbon. We got that. We got that. Okay, you're, you're, you're gonna have to not, not be right here. Uh, let's put you... Oh, why don't you go harvest, actually? We're gonna, we're gonna set you to harvest. So if you don't know, you can actually set these guys to harvest items for you. And they will bring it back to the nearest depository. And when you're just starting the game, that is, in my opinion, the best thing for them. Because you can be out running around collecting your items, and they can be collecting items, bringing stuff back for you automatically. The only problem that I see is going to create is... Where are you going? You're getting that. Okay. He is going to mess up our um, organization, probably, a little bit. But that's all right. It's worth it. So, okay, utilities. Uh, large solar panel, solar panel kit. Now, curious, you have to have a solar panel for this, but you don't have to have it for this. Steel, gold, wire, carbon. Now, we have carbon in here with our chemistry station, which is... Uh... Where's my chemistry station? Ah, it's right here. Uh, okay, there's none in there. Carbon, hmm. Do I, habitat requires power source. Okay, all right, so here is the first thing we got. Habitat requires power source. Before that was not required. And it still says oxygen's replenishing. I'm curious to see if oxygenator, climate controller, or water, will you work? Okay, that still works. Okay, so we need some carbon here. And you know, honestly, I don't know if we have any of that. So let's just actually let's just go run and grab some. I know there's some right over here on the other side of this hill. We'll take out the gav. Um, again, this is this is my favorite vehicle. Until until we try the mech suit out, I want to try that out and see what it's good for. I'm curious to see if we can go down the cave with it. But I mean, in all honesty. The caves aren't really hard enough right now that you need them. You can just take your pistol in there and usually you can handle everything in there. You just keep your distance, hover, and you won't have a problem. So we're over here at the hydrogen pits and there is carbon here. And um, also, when I was editing my other video, I realized I did put that tungsten and the, well, it's the other thing, obsidian in with my ship so i'm curious to see if that's saved because before you couldn't keep anything 
in your ship. It wouldn't save. It would every time you log out and log back in, it would just delete. But let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. Let's see if we can't get hide. Because I I still haven't been able to get any hide from anything yet. Um let's go ahead. Are you gave me hide? No. Crab meat. Skeleopod meat. Let's go ahead and take out that guy too. Go back here. Face your fate. Okay. So yeah, again with the hide, I don't Skeleopod tail. I don't know if maybe there's certain areas that you're supposed to get it from or I I just I don't know. It seems like it's a little difficult to get right now. It might not even be implemented into the game yet. But I I really would like to get a hold of one of those uh those knives to see if we can get those lava leaf things up and out of the ground on the frozen planet but we probably won't visit that planet again this episode we'll probably just go ahead and stick with the new items okay solar panels so we need gold steel wire carbon weirdly you don't need copper for that still gold wire carbon okay so steel gold and wire should have steel in here okay steel uh, I'm pretty sure gold is in this one yes gold and wire it's the only problem with collecting these resources in masses you get really heavy really fast so utilities okay um I wonder if it matters the direction you place it can you play you can't place it on top of anything no that'd be that would be too neat. That'd be too nice. Um, let's see. We want this somewhere kind of out of the way, but we also want it close enough to the buildings. Let's go ahead and put it. We'll put a couple. Why not? Let's just throw a couple right. Uh, yeah, we'll just throw a couple right here, and um, see how this goes. See if it gives our building some power, and we will build another one for good measure. Okay, you're going to look funny if you're sitting on that. Uh, of course you couldn't sit like that, that'd just be too perfect. Also, I wonder if the laboratory for the vehicles requires power. That might be something else we'll have to check out really quick. Now, does it give us an option to go in here? Okay, I have to show range. Um, is it showing range? Show range. Okay, I don't I don't see anything. Oh, okay, there it goes. Okay, so each one covers a range. Oh wow, that's a good range. Okay, so now we don't want to see that anymore. Now we should be able to get power in here. Let's see. Okay, a little lag. Okay, so I do believe that's working. Okay, let's see what they added. Oh, a heat pistol, small and light weapon, fires a highly charged blast and has a slow recharge, does not require additional ammo. A reactor pistol, small and light weapon, fires a highly charged blast and has a slow recharge, does not require additional ammo. So those sound, okay, so a heat cell. Nickel, that's new. And a reactor cell. Was there a damage different on this? doesn't really say um it looks exactly the same besides the heat cell and the reactor cell uh assault rifle ooh profilomic rifle requires ammo maintenance require you need the heavy weaponry for that okay so we already have a regular assault rifle and i don't use the i don't use it because the ammo for it is just Kind of pointless. I'm just really curious about these. We might have to build both of them. And I don't have any nickel though. Hmm. I haven't seen nickel before. Needs ability battery technology. Needs ability battery technology. Okay. So let us let's store these items just for now. No slots available. Okay. We'll go over here. I'm just messing up all my all my item storage, but that's okay. Well, stormy outside, but let's uh let's check the ship 
And let's... Oh my god. These things. These meteors, man. I'm telling you. They are coming for you. They just keep coming. Like, that's what, four? Um, let's check the inventory on here. It did save. Alright, man. I swear, they're just gonna destroy my base. I don't know if they do base damage. They do! Habitat is damaged. The gav is good. The turret got damaged. What about you, little buddy? Were they aiming at you? Well, not really. But, yeah, so, okay, the, the meters do do damage around here, so now you will have to repair stuff occasionally. I am getting some lag here that I haven't gotten before. But, let's, um, let's throw this tungsten and obsidian in here. Um, I don't, I don't think we've hit anything that we needed that for yet. But, let's take a look at, what else? Uh, a floodlight. Powerful outdoor floodlight, okay. What is a path light? Chem light to be placed in the world of helpful navigation visible from far away. Chem station and the printer. Okay, um, let's look at... We should just make an excrement collector. I mean, why not? Everybody needs an excrement collector. So, iron and aluminum. I just had that too. Uh, aluminum and iron. Okay, this should be iron. Utilities. Let's make this. Whoa, it's tiny. It's teeny tiny. Um. Hmm. Where where to put this guy? I mean, you don't want it, you don't want it too close to the base, right? Because it'll smell bad. Let's put it over here by the gun. Sure. Cannot build in this location. It's overlapping another. How about right here? There we go. Now, does this like fill up automatically or? Because you don't press Z to poop on here. What does this do? Waiting 29 minutes and 54 seconds. Okay, so maybe we need that for something. It's prob I'm sure it's probably has to do with the biodome. But again, I don't know for sure yet. This path light's kind of cool. Uh, is that made in the forge? The kit? Uh, let's see here. Okay, it's not in here. What else do we need for those? Um, steel, glass, aluminum, rubber. Uh, let's see here. I'm pretty sure I put glass in here. Oh, there's a rubber. That'll work. And there's glass. And is this aluminum? So we will take this guy. Oh, I already have aluminum. All right, so we have everything. Okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and place these guys down. And take a look at them. Okay, so Kim. Uh, it kind of looks like a it looks like a three D printer actually. Let's put you right. Can we put you right in the middle? Yes, we can. Put you right there. And then we will go ahead and build the, build the printer as well. Now these are not expensive items, so my guess is they are meant to be used before. Now I'm out of glass. Before you get the habitat items, because it seems like they're pretty cheap to make and they don't require. A lot of things for them so we will get the printer online here oh, this is a cool looking printer though um what if can we put you like right here or somewhere of course it can't be lined up that'd be too easy um let's put you we fit in here no I kind of want it over here by these though we might just have to pop him out here in the middle. And that's what we'll do. We'll just pop you out right there. I want to take a look, see what these uh, what these can make. And I'm curious if that chem light is in any of them. So let's see here. We got open printer. Bandage, assault rifle, glass container, battery. Okay, so that's a basic printer. And chem... Okay, so these are soil. Okay, for growing crops in a biome. So there's where the excrement comes. Blitz, a weak compound created to give small boost to your immune system after burner. Blue blades. There's the sap, berry, tree bark, dino, small boost to your speed. 
carrying capacity, stamina, and health. Okay, so they did add... They added the tree bark, the berry, the sap, the grass, fungus, and coral branches? What is this? Wrath. Carrying capacity and stamina. Vampire dust created a compound to boost your strength and speed. Sword leaves, blue blades, core branches, sap. None of that stuff we have. We don't have any of that. That is all new stuff. And we still... I, I think we're going to need a shard blade. Or at least the... Um, what was in here? What was that called? The dragon's tooth or something? The dragon tooth? I think that's what we're going to need. Needs ability melee weaponry. But I still haven't been able to get a gnat hide, arachnid hide, and snake hide. I still haven't got any of those items yet. And I don't see a chem light kit anywhere. Unless I missed it somewhere. I might have missed it. Uh, let's go ahead and make a floodlight. Uh, yeah, sure. If you build there, that'll work. Put some light up here. Oh, yeah, at night, we won't have to be running with our lights on all the time and looking like a fool. Okay, so does that turn on and off? Turn off. I'm just going to leave you on. Because I know I'll forget to turn it off. Or I'll forget to turn it on. I'll be dark outside trying to stumbling around trying to find it. And be like, oh, I don't know where it's at. Uh, let's go ahead and build another floodlight. Kind of going this way, maybe? It's kind of inside my base a little bit, but that's all right. Build a couple of these, and because I'm sure it'll be dark out soon enough, and we'll see how well these guys work. Now, am I going to build another solar panel over here, though? Can I build another solar panel? I need carbon gold wire. Okay, let's see. Curious, will these lights work if they are not? next to a solar panel. Hmm. Yep, it's on. Do I have enough for another one? We gotta build another one. I mean, we gotta, we gotta keep it looking right. There. One on each side, that seems fitting. Man, there's gonna be lights all over the place here. I like that, though. Let's, we'll see how well they actually work at night. Oh, it's kinda eerie. It actually has two little separate light paths and a shadow in the middle. That's nice. Nice touch. Um, Alright, so we are still encumbered. What else? Uh, wall? Wall corner, wall straight. Needs defensive wall ability. Okay, let's see. Defensive wall ability. Defensive walls. Allows the player to create no basic reinforcement. Let's go ahead and make that. Explosive traps. Ground defenses. I already have ground defenses up, and I have three of them, and I think that's probably overkill. Um, allows the player to use the forges, fabrication, solar technology. I can't see anything else. Computer technology, artificial intelligence, chemistry, first aid, small guns, heavy weaponry, light weapons, melee, melee weapons. All right. Um. So, does that answer the question of? Do they add lights in here? I think they add lights in here since the last update. Every time we walked in here, it was super dark. But can you actually use this now? Activate. Agility is plus twenty-five percent for eight minutes. Ooh. Did they add anything else? What's this? Activate. Plus 50% stamina for 16 minutes. Oh. Okay, so they give you a little bit of boost. That's nice. That is really nice. I'm actually like moving quick and I'm still encumbered. I wonder. Okay. I bet you. Get you back. Get you back. I bet I'm fast now. Ooh. Man, I'm fast. It's actually faster to run than it is to jetpack. I'm quick. I'm quick. 
All right, so uh, squirrel. Yes, what were we doing? Hmm, we were. What were we doing? We were looking at stuff. The biodome need ability greenhouse construction. Okie dokie. Um, oh, hey, what is this? Oh, points. Okay, so level four. I do have my points up a little bit higher, and I have my skill points up a little bit higher for the sake of exploration and seeing what this game has to offer. So, if you're level four and you don't have 15 points, that might be why. Let's see. Okay, what should we, what should we pump up here? Um, maybe fortitude so we don't freeze to death on the next planet. Stamina. Uh, strength. Two. Wow, that's only two percent. That's that's terrible. I'd rather get these other buffs first. I think. I don't care if I can run fast. It's not about how fast you can run; it's how you can run fast. <laughs> so let's see here. Um, okay, so we did that. We checked out these things. We checked out some lights. Oh, these walls. Let's go ahead and do walls. Let's uh, let's put up a straight wall. Okay, what the heck? Um, we have turrets right here, so we don't really want to block this area off too much. Um, let's put it right here and see how this goes. Okay, so okay, it's neat. Let's do a corner wall. They're not really that expensive either, which is good. Th which do they snap together? That doesn't look like it's snapping. There's definitely a gap right there. See that gap? It looks like it maybe should snap like that, but it doesn't. We'll just leave it like this. Maybe they maybe they'll go together after we place them within certain proximity. I don't know. Uh. Let's see, did it change? Oh, it did. Okay, good. That would have been really irritating. So there's a wall. Um, we'll probably leave... We could put a wall to right here. And, I mean, the turret would take out anything. Or, you know what? We could we could put a wall coming through here and maybe come out a little bit. And then have this as an entrance. And then everything would have to go through the turret right there. And maybe make a wall... That comes out this way. We might have one come out this way. And stop right here. Another entrance for vehicles come out. So yes. Okay, so we have a plan for walls. We have a plan. Um Let's see, what else do we do we look at everything else yet? I feel like we're missing some things here. I really want to make these, but we're gonna need We need leather. I still haven't found any leather. But it looks like I can make these now. I don't know if there was a red text saying I couldn't make them before, but there is not now. Landmine. I don't want to blow anything up. Flags, markers, path. Beacon. Okay, so... Maybe we should go ahead and build the biodome? I'm curious if you can place it by itself. Because... I don't think you were used to be able to. Okay, so these lights do work a little bit. I mean, they don't they don't light up a huge, super huge area, but it's not super dark out. So, um, let's uh, you know what? I'm gonna put up some of these walls, and I'll bring you back. Oh god, I'm under another meteor attack. I'm out here building walls, minding my own. Oh god, they're just they're just coming in. Get in here and hide. Man, used to those things would just blow up right next to you and not even do anything to you. And now, they are just, they're out to destroy everything. So, I built some of these walls. And, they're pretty pricey. I thought they were pretty cheap. I mean, five steel and two rubber. But the steel is gonna, it's gonna cost you to get that. There's, there's not really a quicker way to get those items. But I did build these walls and I was over here about to build a wall right here and I started getting hit with meteors and I also wish there was a way to maybe craft these beforehand and then place them similar to arc where you can just build up a whole bunch and then just go through and place them but they do they do snap 
uh, the straight walls and they, they do kind of snap and they do fill in. You can kind of see out here that it's not perfect. Okay, you can't see that at all. It's not perfect. See the, the seam continually drops down. But I think that's because of the slope of the ground. This one did really good. But yes. Um, but I am trying to decide what we're going to do about this. Every Look at everything in here is damaged. Everything in here. We're going to have to go through and repair everything. Do they increase? Oh, okay. They increased to how fast it repairs as well. That's good. Used to take forever. But now, and I guess that's because of the meteors now doing damage. Uh, a rebalancing. Okay. Um, I want to, no, you. No, you. Every time I hit, there we go. Wall? Just this one wall? Oh gosh, all the walls individually are. The frame's good. The walls, not so much. Yeah, just going around repairing these. Alrighty, um, I think that's going to be it for this one. We did take a look at the new outdoor printer. We took a look at the outdoor chem station. This is going to be interesting to get into. Uh, we took a look at some of the walls, the solar panels, and the range on them. We took a look at the floodlights. They do help. They do help at night. I mean, you can see it's it's dark out right now, but I can still see in front of me, which is super nice. And um, but yeah, I I think that's going to be it for this episode. Hopefully, next episode we will get on the hunt for hide. We'll finish up these walls, get this kind of boxed in a little bit, see if that helps anything. But I really haven't had a problem at night with anything coming in because of these ground turrets right here. They just they just take out everything. This thing is sitting weird, but alrighty. Well, thanks for joining me. Remember to like this video, and if you haven't already and you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time.